race is not a biological concept, and this long-held assumption is problematic at best, a new paper says. Civil rights leader and sociologist W.E.B. Dubois argued this concept more than 100 years ago. He recognized social inequality as the driver of health different between black and white populations not biology, as many have suggested. Now, a team of scientists is working to remove the racial concept from genetics, and they're calling on a panel of experts to find a better way to approach diversity as it applies to research and medicine. The paper, published in the journal Science, argues that misleading racial categories are poor at describing genetic diversity. It's a concept we think is too crude to provide useful information, Michael Udell, a professor of public health at Drexel University in Philadelphia told Scientific American. According to Udell, modern genetics has come up against a paradox. While race is thought to be a useful way of explaining genetic diversity, race is also known to be a weak marker of that diversity. For instance, complete genomes from different parts of the world show even between Africa and Europe, there is not a single absolute genetic difference. As well as being inaccurate, the authors say assumptions about genetic differences can fuel racist beliefs. In 2014, leading geneticists from around the world have joined forces to slam a new book which claims there is a biological basis for racial differences in behavior. Nearly 150 geneticists signed a letter condemning the book, written by science writer Nicholas Wade, called A Troublesome Inheritance, Genes, Race, and Human History. The book sparked controversy after claiming recent human evolution has led to racial differences in economic and social behavior. The researchers of the current study claim racial assumptions, such as those highlighted in Wade's book, can be dangerous when it comes to medical treatment. For example, cystic fibrosis is underdiagnosed in populations of African ancestry, because it is thought of as a white disease, the researchers write. Scientific journals and professional societies should encourage use of terms like ancestry or population to describe human groupings in genetic studies and should require authors to clearly define how they are using such variables, the researchers say. The researchers have now called on the U.S. National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine to help them change racial bias in research. They want to put together a panel of experts that can come up with ideas to shift the emphasis towards social status, culture, and ancestry. The paper is a collaborative effort between Michael Udell of Drexel School of Public Health, the University of Pennsylvania's Dorothy Roberts and Sarah Tishkoff, and Robert DeSalle from the American Museum of Natural History.